All right. Check one. What the fuck is up, YouTube? Let's see. Let's see if I can pull up the chat on my phone. I have no idea if this is working. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's see here. I fucking hope so at this point. I'm trying to get things going on my phone and on my laptop. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Swag. What up? What up, what up? Damn, there's a hell of people here. <laughs> Damn. What is up, YouTube? What is up, Form Nation? Um. I do see this in the chat. I've got chat on my phone. I've got vibes on my laptop. We're going to have a good time. Um, cool. <laughs> Holy shit. Live streaming. A completely new medium for me, but I'm down. Um, hi, everybody. I'm trying to see if I can see who else is here. Oh, there's hella people. Oh, let's fucking go. I love this. All right, I'm going to start and we'll see what happens. Um, hi. <laughs> uh, my name is Devin. I am a designer and like digital artist from Colorado. Um, <laughs> thank you to Noah Oak too. I see you. I appreciate you. Um, hell yeah. Colorado gang rise up. Um, yeah, I, uh, I've only done this one other time and it was for all nighter eight. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be crazy, but we're going to have a good time. Um, like I said, I'm a designer. Uh, you can follow me on all the things at the link tree that's on the bottom of the screen. Friendly reminder, donate to the cause, do the thing. Make sure that we're supporting all the good causes um, and supporting form and making sure that All Nighter 9 is as good as it possibly can be. I, uh, I'm i really excited. This is going to be a good time. All right, I'm going to minimize OBS and we're going to lock in and we're going to get started. Wait, oh my God, there's chat. Oh, your friend's going to see you. Hell yeah. Sco buffs. Let's fucking go. Good vibes, good times. All right, so... I plan this out a little bit, and then after I run out of stuff that I've planned, then we're gonna get into just random stuff. But first things first, I'm gonna get some tunes rolling. Um, any Subi Club listeners in the chat, sound off. Also, if the music level is too loud, let me know. If my voice is too loud or too soft or whatever the hell, let me know. I'm already overwhelmed, so I'm gonna turn that down. And then we're just gonna we're gonna listen to All Nighter Eight, cause fuck it. Um, okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna start by showing off where I got inspiration from for my art this year. By the way, this is a visual stream. This hour is visual. I know there's been a lot of incredible like production streams over the past few hours. Um, this is this is visuals time. Uh, visuals moment. So I'm going to show you guys like the mood board that I gathered for this year's All Nighter. And then after I give you context, then I'm going to show you my current work in progress of the crazy art that I've made. I think it's fucking nuts. Um, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to take all this. We're going to get rid of it. And we're going to zoom out. Whoa. <laughs> Images. So I'm going to start down here. So this is all of the existing all-nighter cover arts. You've seen these a million times. If you're a real form, form innator. Um, and 
these are all incredible and I know a lot of people who worked on these, obviously friends and good people all around. And then these up here are the previous four cover arts that I did. So this is my fifth one. This is the first one that I did for All Nighter 5. I worked with uh, Simon Art last night and I worked with Emta and it was really crazy. Um, and then the next year was me and Emta and Sai who did the render. And to this day, the funniest thing that has ever happened was that I messed up the Roman numerals on this thing. That says 11, should have been six, should have been a V, whoops. Um, so that's, that haunts me to this day, every day. Um, <laughs> So that was All Nighter 6, and that was a really, really fun time. This was All Nighter 7, and I did this with Omneb and Bukanan, who are both incredible people. Um, and I remember we were like, like, what, what are we doing? You know? But also, I stand by this. I stand by this quote every day. Um, this is so true, and I live this truth all the time. Um, this one was really fun. This one was nuts. I remember when we were bouncing this back and forth, it was super fun. Um, and then last year, I went solo for the first time. Um, so this was my submission for All Nighter 8. Um, and this was so fun. I remember just like streaming this and it was like half done and the stream like helped it along. And I'm looking forward to that again. Um, but... All of this, right, I was looking at all of these and my goal this year is with the cover art to like push it in a crazy direction as hard as I can um, and to make it like really fun and maybe like bring back the flat graphics. Like these renders are spectacular and I love them, but I miss, I'm a sucker for flat graphics, obviously. Um, so then I went on a treasure hunt and these are all artists that I love so I'm gonna start with this one this is the biggest inspiration for this year this is an artist named Felipe Pantone and I'll spell it Felipe Pantone um, he's nuts these are like real installations and if you've seen my art before or if you've seen any of any of this shit like I love gradients and you're gonna see a lot of them. Um, but this shit and like this type of work that he does, especially where it's like really, really specific use of gradient, extreme level gradients and extreme like 100% black and white and a lot of layering and a lot of all this stuff. This, you're gonna see mostly this, but in addition to that, I pulled other inspiration this is a artist, I don't remember where this person is from, but this is Doho Sa, who does these like lifelike installation sculptures um, that I want to see in person so bad. But like, it's a lot of, like what gets me about these is a lot of how like the light is playing off of each other, how the forms look, right? A lot of that sort of stuff. This over here, similar sort of thing. These two pieces here are by Ellsworth Kelly. That might have one L in it or two L's in it. Google and spell check is a lovely thing. Um, but Ellsworth Kelly does these huge canvas pieces that are like, again, formal first in terms of the shapes and what like, in terms of like just basics that he's using, but it's presented in such a specific way that I really like it. And these these colors are also just like so good. Um, this artist, I don't know the first name, but if you Google, trust me, if you Google Vasa acrylic sculpture, you'll find this stuff. There's a bunch. It's acrylic layered with different colors. And, and again, it's a lot of like art playing with light and form and material and all that shit. Um, and then last, this is another huge inspiration of mine. This is Carlo, Carlos Cruz, Cruz Diaz. I think I'm spelling this right. If I'm not, I'm so sorry. I should have prepped this before. 
But again, like pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing color and form as much as possible. This is a actual room that you can walk through. Um, again, like glass and light and all this stuff. Again, the biggest inspiration is gonna be this stuff. And you'll see that. Um, but I think you'll end up looking at all of this put together and you'll see what I've made. Also, I forgot that there's a chat that I have to look at. This is new Haas Grotesque Display Pro Black. Love this font. One of my most used fonts. Whoops. Grotesque. Grotesque. There we go. Um, ah, see, this is why having people in the chat is epic. There it is. Cruz Diaz. Incredible. Um, okay. I've done a lot of yapping. It's going to keep happening, but about different things. But this is all context for the current work in progress, which is this. I'm just going to leave this on screen. I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave this up. Let people take it in for a second. So there's a lot happening and I'm very aware. Um, but let me, let me talk you through it. And I'll also tell you what I've already planned on like, doing during stream because there's something here that I want to work on. Um, first and foremost, in case nobody's seen it yet, it's kind of hidden on purpose. Yes. Oh my God. AG Cook 7G. Yes, that is correct. Whoever. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. But this rectangle and this circle are meant to make a giant abstract number nine. This guy right here and this guy right here. And then again, super, 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 super abstract. But this black and white zigzag is supposed to say ANV for All Nighter Volume 9. Um, you can kind of see it if you look hard enough. Um, again, very much on purpose that it's pretty abstract. Um, but I think it's fun. Like that's the other thing is like, if you look at all of my work before this and a lot of my work in general relies on like really specific, like setting of things and like gaps between things and, and all these different icons, right? This is like a world that I've existed in for a very, very, very long time, like all this stuff. Um, and I love it, right? Like all this, right? Like all these very specific laid out things not a lot of layering, not a lot of stacking. I'm also trying to push myself pretty hard by like using bigger pieces and bigger shapes. And currently there's no text. That might change. I don't know. We'll see. But now we're going to start working. Um, this is not even remotely the entire document here. <laughs> I look like a madman. This is, <laughs> this is the document. It's a bit psychotic, but this is, yeah, you're, yeah, average illustrator doc. I agree. <laughs> this is also nothing in comparison to like what I've done sometimes. Um, but you'll see like bits and pieces of things that are now in here. So like this checkerboard I made into like, this up here is like a distorted checkerboard that that I then like revectorized and like all of these grids in here they're all like live shapes still um, and this half tone is it's all real and live um, and that's very much on purpose but the one thing that I want to start looking at start messing with is this big circle right in the middle because. If I go into trim view again and I zoom out, right? And I do this all the time when I'm looking at my art is I zoom out as much as I can. And I'm also like, there's no face cam, but I'm leaning back. That circle feels way too dark, like way too dark. And so 
I think I'm going to try to mess with like making a different main gradient circle. Um, and I'll show you how I've been making all of these um, that are up here. Um, and hopefully we make something that is better. But like I'm rocking with the rest of the gradients that are in here. I don't think they need to move around very much otherwise, but it's really like the most obvious, biggest, colorful shape needs to be worked on. Um, so that's what we're going to do. It reminds me of Escher. I agree. Um, remove the black. Definitely. That's another thing is like the contrast in here is way too low. And I don't like that. So we're going to, we're going to fix it. Um, by the way, make sure to like donate if you haven't donated already. I'm going to try to say that every once in a while. Um, we're supporting a good cause and form is cool and people are cool and you should donate. Um, also, I'm assuming because nobody said anything that everything's good volume wise with the music and my voice. So if that changes, someone say something, but I think we're chilling. All right, here we go. So swag, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, KMZW Stray and spin V. I appreciate you. So the way that these are being built, right, is they are three different gradient circles, um, CMY, um, stacked on top of each other. Um, but I want to share really quick the way that I make these. Basically, if you look over here on the right, this is a ridiculous looking gradient of white and magenta over and over and over again with pretty randomized placing. Like I didn't really try to make anything. The other thing is Illustrator doesn't natively have like cone gradients or like circular gradients to go along the circle instead. Um, and there's a trick where you make the gradient into the stroke, you make the stroke size, right? It's right now it's 870 pixels, which is stupid. Um, and that's how you get these like really nice spinny guys that are not like radial or whatever, like li not linear like this. Um, yeah. So then you take all these, you put them on a specific blending mode. I am using difference. And if you do it right, some fun stuff starts to happen. So this is what happens when you just stack them <laughs> straight up. Um, oh yeah, that's what we're doing. We're messing with blend modes. We're going to mess with rotation because the other thing that's really fun to mess with is live rotating these and you can just like, there's like infinite ways to explore. And if I move this down and then I select a different one, right? And then I rotate this one, right? Things get weirder, right? And then I move this down and I select the cyan one. Whoa. See, like, then you get, like, really cool shit that's happening. And then, like, say, for example, I want to add orange somewhere. So I want to put some orange in manually. I'm just going to do that really quick because I think this whole thing could use some orange. I'm kicking these white spots down. I'm going to saturate the fuck out of this orange. Hope nobody cares. <laughs> I'm also going to move these points in just like that. And now, yeah, yeah. See, now something's happening. Something's happening. Oh, yeah, definitely use this trick. I learned this trick, God, forever ago. And it works on all sorts of gradients, right? Like that's what's happening here is these gradient bars on top of this one, right? Like if I just move these up and down, like it's f like you get more colors than you bargained for. It's really, really, really fun. Um, so anyway, the other thing that I was messing with was a live like movable, like what? Here, let me zoom in. Like, whoa, things are getting crazy and bendy and fun, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep that. Um, the other thing that gets crazier, right, is then you take 
existing existing ones and you hit it again right and you just do it over and over and over. ooh okay wait something's happening something's happening actually with this see but i don't like how dark i don't like how dark <laughs> okay so which colors are doing the things that i like i think it's the pink but it's fine i'm gonna unfortunately well, or fortunately, depending on who you are. A lot of graphic design is like repeating the same step a hundred times until you like what you did, and then you keep going. Which like, sucks. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, okay, I'm going to... I wanna add a green one now, like over here. So I'm gonna mix up like a... Like a green one. Brighter, brighter, more, more. There we go. This is good. Yeah, maybe a different blending mode would fix it. <laughs> Graphic designers are the most oppressed group. You're so... And I've always said that, to be honest. Like, I've lived that truth every day. Um, let me... I like that idea. Let me fuck around with... Whoa, no. Interesting, interesting, right? Like immediately something's weird and different and not as fun. What the hell? Weird. All right, we're gonna go back to here. This doesn't feel too bad. There's a lot of light blue. Interesting. I'm going to maybe add like, no, wrong button, like a yellow, but like make it really, really thin. And then I also want this to be soft light. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Something like that. And then this green one, I want to put this on maybe hard light, maybe. If this is so thrilling, <laughs> which I bet it is, um, let me know if you guys have questions about like design stuff. If you want me to talk about any other design related things, let me know. I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring this in. See, it's like a constant uphill battle of like, now I want green and I want white and I want all these things. I believe in the process, ironically, as, as shitty as it can be, you know? I'm trying to make music for this all-nighter, but I've been designing for longer. Hell yeah. Are you, oh, so you're not submitting, whoa, what the hell? So you're not submitting a uh, cover art this time. I, it's funny, I've only ever made cover art. Funny in a kind of way, I guess. The other thing that sucks about this process is like, I can't really easily select the individual circles. <laughs> They're being really stupid right now. Okay, here we go. This should come over here. No, wow, I hate that actually. See, I promise you we're gonna move on from this step eventually. But for now, welcome to the Devon stream. <laughs> See, I'm missing, now what I'm missing is like the saturation of some of these. Which bums me out. Or like, hmm, I wonder actually. Are you a shape or are you, yeah, okay. So this is rasterized already, but this is the exact, okay, good. 
as long as I have the live thing. I want to try maybe just adding green onto this. Um, whoa, hold on. Something like that. Not with this second halo around it, but something's happening. Yeah, let me let me put it on this one. Yeah, yeah. Chat, if you were a shape, what shape would you be? I'll tell you what shape I would be. Ready? Mini tutorial time. Here we go. Unsolicited. Here we go. We're gonna make a circle. You're gonna take that circle. You're gonna make it whatever color you want. This is an Adobe Illustrator for, for Adobe gamers only. Then you go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Pucker and Bloat. And then you take this and you go to negative 80. Enter, boom, done. And then you go Object, and then you go Expand Appearance. Congratulations, graduate, you've just made a four-pointed star, the most internet shape of all time. David Rennick, any percent world record. <laughs> David Rennick would do some shit like, he would he would do something like this. This is what he would do. Ready? This might be a diss, but I don't care. I'm a big fan, and this is a form of flattery is what I'm going to go with. He would do this. Because he's an Arsenal fan, and I am also an Arsenal fan, Arsenal football. He would just, like, do this. And the gradient wouldn't even be, it would be a sunrise gradient. The gradient would be like, it would be, what would it be? It would be like this. And it would be orange and then like purple and then dark ass blue. And it'd be like this. And then like that. Or whatever. Some shit like this. I don't know. And then it'd be like this. And it'd be like this. And the thing that David David Rudnick also loves to do, which I am also a fan of doing every once in a while, is you take all this text and you just... Wait, hold on. Shit. You go like this. You go like that. Boom. David Rudnick speed run. Like, comment, subscribe. That's it. <laughs> Alright, back to the game. Um, I'm gonna delete this shit. Uh, that was like two minutes. Is that a PR? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> it very, very well could be. And you know what? For the sake of the bit, I'm going to say that it was. Just out of spite for everybody else. What do you think of that? Um, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait. No, I, wanna, I don't want to add. I want to change the green. Why? One thing about me is that wrestling with Illustrator is like my job. Pretty cool. <laughs> I want to add another little something over here. Not brown. No. Bad. Interesting. I could do this for hours, people. I'm not going to, but I could. Like, if you let me, I would. All right. We're going to blend that out just a little I honestly might hate this <laughs> okay I'm gonna go with this and we're gonna see what's happening we're gonna see if it works in context um, for now I'm going to rasterize this just to keep it from crashing 
No, I did it wrong. Fuck. File. Uh, object. Rasterize. Transparent, please. Thank you. Very good. And then I'm going to plop on the drop shadow that I've been using, which are these settings over here. Nobody asked, but here you go. Boom. Um, actually, the settings are, I love, I love that this happened. There we go. Um, great. So now I'm going to make sure that those are correct. 75, 775, great. And then this is 75, 77, good. Okay, so now, ooh, oh shit. Maybe, maybe people. Actually, that was not the right way to do that. Hold on. There we go. Let's see. Something's happening. Oh shit. Something's happening, people. I'm really not mad at that. Maybe the yellow is a bit bright, but I like it. I agree with you, and also looking at the other places that yellow is showing up, I think I can get away with this. But I do agree that it's bright. But I'm glad it's better to me than this. Right, like now looking at this, how was this in there? This is so much better. The whole thing is so much better. What I could also do is just like, whoops, not the grid. Let's see. Ooh, actually, actually, actually. Even just rotating it slightly helps. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Damn. Okay. I'm going to put this part away for now. And I'm going to keep that as is. I want to build a couple more of these like texture. Whoa. Hello. What the fuck? Delete. <laughs> Um, maybe line up the purple with the angle of the leg of the nine. Line up the purple. Oh, I think I see what you're saying, but I could be just like objectively drastically incorrect. Oh shit. Something like this. Is that what you mean? I really like this red sitting over here. Yeah. I like that. I also like, again, one of the things that I miss about old all-nighters, even though this was obvious, I like that it's integrated into the design more than like, and like this works and this works and both of these are good, but like, I don't know. I want to get weird. I want to get weird with it. I think it'd be fun. And the other thing that I thought about that seems a bit silly. I wonder if this is gonna work. Okay, I just changed the screen mode and I'm waiting for my phone. Okay, yeah, okay. So now I'm in full screen. So now, the other thing that I'm thinking about is that this is such a dynamic composition that for like the Premiere, for example, I could like, you can like zoom in on any piece of this Boom, composition for one of the songs. And then the next song for another part of the premiere is like, like, like boom, done, right? Or like down here, like everything can be its own thing, which I am fucking with heavily. I really like it. I don't know. It's worth, it's worth thinking about. Um, it would also look sick animated. I agree. And you want to see a test of what that could be like? Because watch this. I do this all the time with my art. Like all the time. You take CMYK or RGB on top of the entire thing. 
You hit difference? Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Right? Or like, again, I'm just gonna, whoops, wrong, wrong thing, that was the stroke. Boom, done, boom, boom. Throw this layer in After Effects and have it color shift slowly. Now we're talking. Right, exactly. I don't know who's running the Art by Form account, but whoever you are, you're locked in and I see you. Right, like, and then it gets even weirder, right? Throw a gradient in. It's me, your worst enemy. Aw, I knew it. Um, right, like things get really weird and really fun almost immediately. Check my DMs. Oh God, I'm not gonna open that on stream, but I'll look on my phone. <laughs> Got it, cool. Love that that's good, good, good. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mystery mystery mod. I'm not even going to say anything. Um, <laughs> I'm in your walls. <laughs> what was the, the previous stream? It was like, there's bugs under your skin. Something like that. I think it's good. Also, I don't know if you can hear me when I'm taking a sip of my drink. Anyone else enjoying an ice cold... San Pellegrino blood orange soda right now? Or is that just me? Type shit. Honestly. It's a, it's a goaded soda. And you put a squeeze of lime in there, like fresh lime juice. Hell yeah. I bet Raj, you know, if I, I would. I would. I would. All right, we're gonna do some other stuff. Cause I want to. <laughs> Cause this is my stream. Um. I want to build more small blocks like this half tone or these little grids. I want to put one here. I want to put one like up here, maybe. And I want to break up this entire block a little bit, either by doing something on top, whoops, like that, or like just underneath, like in here. I want to block out a couple more things because I think it's good, but my detail brain is like, do more. You want to do more so bad. So I think I'm going to. Also, is this music still All Nighter? Yeah, I forgot about this song. Damn. Guys, give it up for All Nighter. Music is real, you know? Type shit. Also, for those of you being like, no, there's nothing in your likes. It's I SoundCloud. So everybody can shut up. Okay. <laughs> um, let's go. We're going to start with, I don't fucking know, this. We're going to start here. Um, I'm going to do something a little silly. And I'm going to show you this illustrator file this is like my holy grail of illustrator this is my secret layer and this is where all my icons are um i use this all the time but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab this guy that again i use pretty often and we're just gonna like start messing with shit I can. Um, and now, right, like something's happening. Something's happening. I don't know. I'm, I'm goofing. Um, but even if, 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 if it was, if these were like zero and grouped and went like that. Eh, no, it's too thick. Fuck that. Um, see, this is a good moment to go back here and study and see what's happening. Interesting. Like what I'm looking at is like the way that this checkerboard is warped or the way that these data matrix codes are repeated over and over and over and over again. 
I'm not trying to rip this too much. I've done some things that are pretty one-to-one, -one, but I want to try to make things that are like for me or like my own. Iconography is so sick, thank you. I make an icon for whatever, yes, so true. Hell yeah. Damn, see this is why I love and hate streaming. We're already 40 minutes in and I feel like I've done everything and nothing at the same time. Um, let's do something that I think could be fun, which would be to make a bunch. We're gonna make a constellation, people. Um, we're just gonna like, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go with that. Could be fun. And now with the pen tool, I'm just gonna like start clicking around. I also don't think I care about lines crossing right now, so we're gonna go like back up to here and then back up and then we're gonna take this point, we're gonna drag it there and then I'm also going to draw a line from here to here. Yeah, this is fun. I'm liking this. Six Impala logo looking ass. Yeah, I feel a lot of pressure that I'm on a technical level, opening for Six Impala, who's next? Um, as a massive Six Impala fan, um, I do feel some pressure, to be honest. Because Six Impala is goaded for real. You had no idea? Oh, yeah. Don't forget the stream schedule. The stream schedule is on the form Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget, you can go see the rest of the night, the rest of the all-nighter schedule. Um, okay, I'm liking this vibe. I'm going to group this. I'm going to see where in the layers this could go. Okay, there, right there. And then we're gonna make sure that this is like, I don't know, fucking weird color for now. Not permanently. There we go. Cool, and then I'm gonna take this whole group. I'm gonna scale it down slightly. Hmm, actually. Interesting, hold on. Ooh, fun. See, this is why we just mess around. Interesting. I don't know about this now, but we're gonna keep trying anyway. Um, we're gonna go back to normal. I'm gonna make this rectangle. Let's let's do let's have a little bit of fun. Let's make a mesh gradient. You fuck with it on the stripes. I also fuck with it on the stripes. I'm gonna come back to an idea I just had about that in just a second. But for now, I'm gonna build a gradient here that is very much on purpose contrasting from what surrounds like in this area yeah here we go and then this is gonna be like really punchy green nice yeah 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 even just that could be something but now I'm going to Try to tuck this in here. There we go. Ooh, nope, too much. Needs to be underneath. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. There we go. Interesting, okay. So I'm gonna make this way smaller. And then I'm just going to duplicate it. Flip it around. Maybe rotate it slightly. Interesting. Haley. Hello, the art looks really nice. Thank you. I actually, I'm rocking with that. 
I'm rocking with this part. I'm okay with that. Midnight people, yeah, I fuck with that. Hell yes. Shouts out. This is good. This is good vibes. I wanna, okay, I think I have time to maybe build one of the two of these. Um, and I had an idea, but I forget it, which is just classic. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm not sure what to do, but I'm gonna save the document. Oh my God, Cat Impala. Hi, Cat. I'm very excited to be opening for your band on some level. That could be a crazy turn of events. Imagine at like a live show, a graphic designer opening and it's just this. <laughs> That'd be so shitty. <laughs> oh God. I guess it would depend on like, I don't know. It would depend on how good or how bad you are. Like different from a VJ, like cause VJs are doing things while the music is playing. If the crowd could, ooh. Crowdsourced graphic design opening festival. Second sky, but it's all designers. Pink lads, I copyright that idea verbally. Um, so don't make an, an event out of that without my permission. <laughs> I would be so hyped to see my dog on stage and I would be, I'm right there with you, I agree. Cat, an unsolicited fun fact about me is that I've been following Six Impala since before Rubber came out. Real, real Six Impala gamers know what's happening. Yes, tis I, that's me. <laughs> shouts out shouts out my uh 150 rubber alt cassette is still nice and safe upstairs in my room oh shit guys guys oh shit you got one yeah i did of course i did okay okay Okay, maybe, okay, maybe something's happening. What if it's just like... Ooh, okay, okay, I'm in there. I'm in there. I'm in there. And then we do a nine over here, but we're gonna make the nine... fat. <laughs> I, I don't like this double black bar that's happening, but like... But like, but like, all right. I mean, maybe it's this font. This is also a font that I've used in a branding project before that I'm not gonna use again. Welcome to Devin selects a font for five hours of stream. <laughs> oh God, oh God. The trials and tribulations of art, more like fart. Um, mm, no. When in doubt, Helvetica? Yes, but for this, I use Helvetica too much. And I want to deliberately challenge myself to not use it. This would be crazy town. This font is gorgeous, by the way. This is called Wanchi. W-A-N-C-H-Y on Adobe fonts. Also, this needs to, well, let's see how long this will take. I'm currently, there we go. Mm, interesting, I could do this for forever, guys, but it's okay. We're gonna vibe. I'm gonna leave that there so that I don't forget that that's an idea, but I'm, rocking with this this is nuts <laughs> holy shit
Interesting. Okay. I'm going to save the document. We're going to do mm, maybe something up here. I'm thinking about blocking this vertically or horizontally like this underneath the zigzag probably this because I like how the, these are both framing this and then I can move the middle of this more central in here this is giving flume vibes massive dub I fucking I should have pulled some of that for this Jonathan Zawada I'm gonna type that out so that you can reread it whoops whoops oh god oh god John John Jonathan Zawada does all of Flume's art and is I'm not even kidding one of my favorite visual artists maybe currently his use of color is like it pisses me off cuz it's so good all right we're going to do this really quick i'm going to go with this shape because sure um, I want to do, I want to do like, like another really f like fine texture, but I don't know what to do. Interesting. Maybe, Ooh, this will be fun. You worked with avalanches. Yeah. On that art that looks like it's the, I forget what the album's called but it looks like those airbrush family name signs that you get. Nobody's gonna know that what I'm talking about. But it's fine. Okay, we're gonna do this. This is Photoshop now. Um, and so I'm going to try this. We're gonna see what happens. Dissolve. Mm. Okay, wait, filter. Blur, Gaussian blur. Wait, 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 wait. Convert to smart object. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Very good. Dissolve. Is it doing the thing at all that I want? Probably not. Good. Um, let me try. Whoa. Let me try this. I think it was We Will Always Love You. It's like the glowy letters. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Blur it to shit. Then we're gonna kick it to dissolve. Yeah, okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Some shit like this. Peep this. Huh? Now, the game is that this doesn't scale. So when I zoom out, the level of dissolve, the pixels don't get bigger. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to rasterize this layer. So now this is its own thing and I can, oh wait. No, 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 what I wanna do, I forgot about this. I want to now merge these two layers. Yes, oh my God. Okay. And I wanna like stretch it to shit. And I wanna like get it nice. There we go, no, why are you blurry? Okay, well trick for, for for anybody you hit threshold boom now we're having fun all right i'm gonna move this to like right there and then we're going to export that as a png and now we're gonna plop this in here very good and then another designer moment window image trace and then you 
click open this advanced tab, you ignore the color white and you hit preview, boom. And then you hit expand, boom. Thank you very much. And so now I'm going to smooth this entire thing. Too much. Okay, we're gonna go down to like, ah, maybe actually not at all. I'm gonna do this this way instead. Boom, bam, bam, bop, bada, bop, boom, swag. I agree. Okay. So what I'm envisioning now is another sort of like hyper gradient looking ass. And then this goes on top. Right? Something's fun. And then maybe this would be... I'm going to mess with this more. But I only have four minutes left. Bummer. But like, I don't know. Could be, could be the move. You know? Could be the move. We'll see. There. It's way too dark. I already don't like it, but <laughs> it's fine. It'll be fine. But something up here. It's not going to be this. But something up here could be fun. What if the grains also had a gradient? I'm listening. Something like that. Interesting. Very, very fun, actually. Yeah. Actually, who said that? Midnight people. Bonus points for midnight people. Shit, I clicked the wrong document. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> Maybe that. I'll figure it out. I'll work on it. It might not be that gradient. I might move it around. I might, well, I don't know. But I like this texture a lot. I'm going to keep this texture and use it in here somewhere. <sighs> well, for now, I think I'm going to call it done. It's 9.57. I'm going to use my last three minutes before the lovely, incredible, goaded forever six Impala goes live and you know what i'm gonna spend it doing some self promo because fuck it um hold on <laughs> thank you great to see some of your process i appreciate that so again my name is devin you can find my website at devin.digital and then my Instagram is at Devin Digital. And then my Twitter or Elon Musk's X the Everything app.gov <laughs> is the same thing, but with an underscore at the end. And then you can also go to Linktree, linktr.ee slash Devin. You can find all sorts of other links to like music stuff that I've done. Cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I hope everybody enjoys Six Impala. Bye. Have a good summer. Thanks for watching. Donate, vote, all the things. Bye.